Welcome everyone to Planet Poppers. Tonight we're in Fisherman's Village and we're gonna do something very different like we've never done before. But first we are gonna go to the market to show you how busy it is on a Wednesday night in the lovely food market and the clothing market. And after that we'll be going to a trivia night which is gonna be at Frog and Gecko which we're gonna have a prize of whatever how many people the teams are and each team put in a hundred baht per person and whoever wins takes the money home for that team so that's great so we're gonna do that but first it's market time so let's go so we're at the market we're starting with the fresh ice cream and then moving on to the different pad thais If you like a taxi, taxi, you can get it here in the market as well. I don't know if he's for sale, but or the taxi, we don't know yet. So they do have fresh fruit for 100 baht, mango sticky rice for 50, spiral potatoes just like the carnivals, going into the euro for Miro, which is 120 baht for a big one. So that's a massive one that you can get. Here they make fresh pasta. Oh, she's making it right now. That's amazing. That's great. So you get homemade pesto pasta for a hundred baht. Very good price. Fresh spring roll, sorry. <laughs> fresh homemade coconut ice cream and fish. We had this fish before. It's actually very, very nice. So it's a salted fish on the outside. When you take the skin off of it, it's a beautiful smoky taste with lots of different herbs from Thailand. Beautiful. You need some soft drinks while you're chowing down that fish. You can actually get a cheeseburger, smoothies, many things on a stick. This is my favorite part as well. I have some great duck, 200 baht, chicken, 100, and pork for 150. And if you're looking for something more substantial, you can get prosciutto. Hello, Adiha. Adiha. You can get grilled New Zealand green mussels for 120 baht for a box, which includes four of them. Chicken dumplings for 60 baht and garlic bread. Garlic bread. So it is a little busy in here, which is a Wednesday night, which is good to see. And if you're looking for a rack of ribs, they're here for you as well. If you miss your homemade lasagna, grandma's not around, they do it here for you as well. These are very popular now that they make the ice cream right in front of you. So you can mix it with everything that you want. Use an ice board to make it really nice. Old school, like cold stone. <laughs> he had a huge Nutella thing as well. I'm gonna do this a little faster because we do have a trivia right at 7.30 it starts but you do get there early for the drink so you can have a seat and also grab your team as well. I'll go over the rules when we're there but for now we're just gonna run through the market until we get there. And now is the food part. So it is seven o'clock right now almost, still early. This market will pick up as well obviously but on Fridays it is the busiest ever here. So if you like people and you like to be crowded, make sure you come on a Friday night. Monday is the most relaxing night to come through the market and enjoy it. Cases for 180 or buy two for 300. Anyone you like. Look how comfortable these are. Oh, so nice, so pretty. <laughs>
Yeah, we'll keep going, sorry. We'll keep going. Just running through the market, just showing you what's going on. And a backpack. <laughs> well, I was looking through that stall, he was actually having a cat bath. Put some water in his face and started rubbing his eyes like a cat. He's clean now. Okay, how to walk through a crowd then. We're almost into Fisherman's Village, the main road. This is the fastest market version we've ever done. And now we made it to Coco Tams. Everybody in the way. Okay, we made it through the market. Now we're on our way to the Frog and Gecko to play trivia night. There is a few groups on Facebook that you can join before you even come to Samui. So if you are coming to Samui and you want to meet expats or other people from all around the world, wherever you like, you can go on this website. And they do have events that happen every week and just say you're going out for coffee. Now their organizer is Paula and she organizes a coffee meet usually every week and it was Fridays. We're going to make it every other week now on a Saturday and just being part of the group, she'll tell you exactly where the venue is and just meet new people from around the world either you're here for a week or if you're staying here for six months it doesn't matter these are just people that you're going to meet everywhere in the world hello meet everywhere <laughs> that guy was exactly like the emu yesterday so it's not the same and now we made it to the frog and gecko pub so let's go in usually the team's around from six to eight people whoever you can bring is better for you the more knowledge you know the better for you chances to win. So we have a group of usually around six to eight as well. And we met on the social media as well from the Facebook. So I'm gonna link here as well where the beginning of that is and who you can talk to and just to talk to people around Samoa as well. Even if you're looking for something of a new car rental, a place to live for longer, anything you need, they'll answer your questions online on these Facebook channels. So now it's trivia time. So let's go. We got here at seven o'clock. We are very early, which is good. It starts at 7.30. This place will be very packed. This is just going to show you the venue and how big it is. And there's usually around 15 to 20 teams. So it should be a good, good night. And this goes right on to the outside to the beach. And there's the organizer. And that's it. So it's all over. We did come in second place, which is amazing. Didn't win this week. They usually win on the times that I'm not there, so what does that tell you? <laughs> it wasn't that busy as well. There was only around eight or nine teams, so it wasn't packed out. I didn't show much because the music was on, the guy was on the microphone. You gotta keep quiet during the whole thing as well. So it was a good night. So definitely a good place to go to on a Wednesday night, starting at 7.30. And that's gonna do it for 7.30 every Wednesday, playing the trivia night. So thank you for joining me here tonight on Planet Papas. And just a quick message, we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers as soon as we can. So please tell your friends and the whole bunch. So take care and 
Don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell, and see you soon.